Hi everyone, it's Becca and today I'm back on behalf of Wild Orchid Crafts, the Wild Bunch, to share another project with you guys, so I hope you enjoy. So today I wanted to show you how to create some embellishments for your projects. So I'll be using a craft mat, I'll be using a glue gun, some wire, some wire cutting pliers, and also some Wild Orchid Crafts laces. I've also got some paper and a pencil here, which I'm using to sketch out my designs. I've already sketched out this heart shape, and now I'm just showing you here how I'm sketching out the wing shape. So all I'm doing is I'm just drawing one side of the wings, and then I'll fold my paper in half and cut that out together. I'm making sure that it's still attached in the middle, so that way I have something that looks pretty even on both sides. So first I want to create my heart. So I just took a long piece of the wire. The first thing I'm going to do is fold that wire in half. And then I grabbed something that is round. So I just got a pot of glitter here. You can use anything you have at home. And I'm just going to be using this glitter pot because it worked out the perfect size for my heart. And what I'm doing is I'm wrapping it around that bottle. And that's just going to give me a perfect curve for the wire. Once I've done that, I'll just open up the wire, as you can see me do here on this video, and you pretty much have your heart shape here. And I just wanted to shape this around my template, just because I want it to fit on a card that I'm making. So that's what I'm going to do, and once I finish doing that, I'll just wrap the ends together, just trim off any excess of the wire, and just make sure you wrap it really neatly so that the wire doesn't show. Once I finish doing that, I'm going to take some lace and I'm going to cut three pieces of this lace and this is what I'm going to need to cover that heart. So all I'm doing here is just attaching those laces together. So I'm adding a little bit of glue on one side of the lace and just adhering these pieces together. Then I'm going to take my heart shape and I'm going to add some glue to it. And I'll just place this right on the lace. And as soon as that glue sets, I'll go ahead and trim off the heart all the way around. And I did leave a little bit of a border, and that's just because I wanted to wrap this lace around the wire. And here's just an idea of what else you could do. You could actually use this as an embellishment or a hanging piece itself. So just add some seam binding and maybe decorate it with a seam binding bow or some flowers or anything you like. But I'm going to be using this on a card. So I'm going to take some flowers here. And once again, I have the product codes in the description box. And I'm just going to place my flowers on the corner of this heart. Just until I'm happy with how that looks. And then for the sake of time for this tutorial, I have already created a simple card and I'm just going to be attaching my heart to this card. And basically that is just an idea of how you can use this embellishment. Now we're going to create the wing and I'm going to be doing the same thing. So I'm folding this in half and I'm taking this little bottle that I had to hand. And this is just a food flavoring product. So the size of the cap just matched perfectly to what I wanted to do. And once again, I'm wrapping my wire around it. And then I'm going to start shaping this into a wing shape. So I'm using a pencil here. And then you can see me coming in here with some pliers. And that just helps you fold your wire a little bit better. So if you have one of these pliers, I would recommend that you use it. I'm just folding this wire into that sort of a wing shape. And you can see here when I open up you pretty much have your shape almost complete and when I was wrapping the wire around to tie the ends it ended up breaking so you can see here I added a little bit of hot glue and that really doesn't matter because it's going to be covered so no one's going to see that. Then I'm going to take my lace and this lace is scalloped so I thought it would be really cool to make this look like feather so I'm cutting out the segments of the lace and then I'm just gluing them together and I ended up creating two pieces, one for each side of the wing. And just as before, I'm adding a little bit of glue to the wire and then I'm going to be placing my lace over top. And this time I'm going to trim it around, but I'm not going to wrap around just because the layers of lace made this a little bit too thick to wrap around. But as you can see here, the wire is completely covered. So you still can see the wire, even though I'm not wrapping this around. So 
Once again, for the sake of time, I have a card pre-made. So I'm just going to go ahead and place my wing onto the card. And I'm adding some flowers here also. And you can go ahead and ink your flowers and change the colors if you like. And I've also added some more of the seam binding onto this card. And the card is complete. So once again, this is just an idea of how you can use this. You can use this on many projects. So really is up to you. And here's the other card I made earlier. I really hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.